Somebody say, oh, if God is really a good God, why does he allow evil happen to good people? What makes them good people? Because they smile for you and give you some handouts or hand downs. Is that what makes them good people? Is that what makes them good people? Question two, is it God that allowed or their choices allowed? Is their choices. Don't blame it on God because God's part there is to have instructed you ahead of time. Adam, that fruit has death. The day you eat, you shall die judgment contained in the fruit. It's not a probability. Mm -mm. He is in love, tough love, revealing to you the outcome of any choice in that direction. So now, intentionally, knowingly, deliberately, you now make the choice. Why blame God for the outcome of your choice? Somebody said, no, 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 Dr. Damina, you don't know. That man was a real man of God, but he died at the age of 35. Oh, why? Why, God? Why? He was the only man that preached in my village, and he was such a genuine man of God. He preached it all his life. Oh, why? Why? Who will save my village? Hey, hey, hold, hold, hold. Stop ranting too much. You never lived with that man to know what were his choices to keep his body healthy for a long time. You were in there when he was consuming excess sugar. You were in there when he was consuming excess, excess carbohydrates. You were not there. Oh, you were not there when he was making wrong choices and abusing this body. You were not there. That he's a man of God has not still excused him from wearing mortality. So don't blame God for his dying at 35. It is the outcome of his choice. Why, why, why did they have accident and that? Were you the driver on the steering? Couldn't God protect them? He must have spoken to them ahead of time. But they didn't pay attention. He must have. He's a lover. He must have, have, have. And see, God will, God will not say, boom, pa, am I not talking? Mm-mm. Gently. Gently. But you will know that you were told. You will know it. Even if you didn't pay attention, you will know that this thing, I felt it. That's the common language. Is that the common language? I felt that I shouldn't. That's the love of God. But it is still the love of God to have allowed you after feeling it. To not pay attention. You see, you, you see what I'm explaining here. It's still the love of God because that is why He didn't hold Adam's hand and say, "Adam, Adam, Adam, didn't I tell you not to eat? Mm -mm. I already told you. I already told you. I'm not going to follow. I'm not going to coerce you. My spirit will strive. God's mercy." still comes sometimes even after you have made a choice. God's mercy still comes. Especially when you ask for it. Oh Father, I know I've messed up but I just need some help out of this. I receive a miracle now. I know I have fallen into a ditch but I must get out of this ditch. Father, I receive a miracle. Lakota, Makala, Takaya. Suddenly, you see steps on the wall 
to get out of the ditch. And as you lift your leg to climb, you have help. Suddenly, you have come out of it. That is God's mercy. Coming in to the midst of your mess to straighten you out. Adam! Where are thou? God's mercy. 